Understanding Nurture Something, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting and widely used phrase in English, nurture something. This phrase is not just about caring for plants or children, but it has a broader application in our daily communication. Let's dive in to understand its various nuances and uses. Nurture is a verb that essentially means to care for and encourage the growth or development of someone or something. It's often associated with providing support, encouragement, or the necessary conditions for growth. When we talk about nurturing something, we're referring to the act of fostering or promoting the development of that thing. This could be a skill, an idea, a project, or even a relationship. To understand how this phrase is used in everyday language, let's look at some examples. She nurtured her passion for music from a very young age. The teacher's role is to nurture students' curiosity and love for learning. They are nurturing their small business with great dedication. In these sentences, nurture, is used to describe the action of supporting and encouraging different things, like passion, curiosity, and a business. While the basic meaning of nurture is to care and support, it can have different connotations depending on the context. 1. Emotional care, often used in relation to raising children or maintaining relationships. 2. Skill and talent development, referring to the cultivation of abilities or talents. 3. Business and project growth, used in professional contexts to indicate fostering growth and success. Understanding these nuances will help you use the phrase more accurately in different situations. When learning to use, nurture something, be cautious of these common mistakes. Not confusing with, nourish, while similar, Nourish is more about providing food or nutrients, whereas nurture is about overall care and development. Verb form. Remember that nurture is a verb. Avoid confusing it with the noun form nurturance. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase nurture something more effectively in your conversations and writings. Remember, Language is not just about words, but the ideas and emotions they convey. Keep practicing, and don't forget to nurture your English language skills. Until next time, happy learning!